Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great and uh, today I'm here again uh, among you with uh, seven most common mistakes people make most of the time and uh, as you already know this is your host Aziz. Well, let's start with the lesson. If you have a look at the first line, actually uh, uh, just to confirm you that this is a lesson for the, uh, for the intermediate English speakers, those who already speak English and uh, yes, uh, they make some mistakes sometimes when they speak as they have recently started probably speaking English. So, so I'm going to highlight on some common mistakes as you have a look at the first one given there. Today morning I woke up late. Now if you judge that even grammatically uh, from this pack of tens, it's, it's a completely correct sentence. Today morning I woke up late. This is simple past form. Now, in English, when I talk about like today, today morning, I don't really say today, but I say this morning. Wow. Now, it becomes an absolutely correct sentence. So that should be this morning I woke up late. You make any sentence like this, uh, for example, uh, this morning I went to Newmarket with my cousin. You cannot say today morning. Again, this is the type of mistake that most of the time uh, the people of subcontinent make. Well, next one. What's the difference? I find loads and loads of people make this mistake. What's the different? What's the different? Uh, different, as you know, different is an adjective. So if you are in this sentence, that what's the different? It doesn't become a correct sentence. So it should be, what's the difference? What's the difference, which is a noun? Now, here you go, you get your correct sentence, so that should be, what's the difference? And uh, uh, if I talk about the correct pronunciation of difference, E, you don't pronounce this E, it should be, what's the difference? So you don't consider that E when you pronounce this word. So that is going to be, what's the difference? Coming on to the next one, I met John two years before. Now. Some of you might find that correct. I met John two years before. Uh, literally, uh, you would feel that this is correct. But see, I met John two years before. You can write if you have some add on thereafter. For example, I met John two years before I went to Canada. So if you get some more addition after before, then you can use before. Otherwise, you cannot because you cannot end up a sentence using before. So it should be, I met John two years ago. There you go. So that should be A G O. Now, there you go. Now you get your correct sentence, and that is, I met John two years ago. Moving on to the next one. This is a six months course. Now, again, a very, very common mistake. A very common mistake. Now, the reason we normally write like six months because you see one, two, three, four, five, six, and obviously six months plural. So most of the students would write like six months since six is a plural number. But the problem is in here, this is a six month course. Now course is working here as a noun and six months is actually being worked in here as an adjective. So, which is actually defining the noun. So, adjective cannot be in plural numbers, never. So, this is going to be, this is a six month course instead. See, think about that noun and right before that, this is being used as an adjective. So, this is going to be, this is a six month course and not months. All right, moving on to the next one. Thank you. I really enjoy it. I am 100% sure most of you would say, no, this is correct. What's wrong with that? Right? Yeah. If, if, you, if you just talk about spoken English and if you're not very serious about that, then yes, you're going to find that correct. But, but if you want to be a perfect speaker and if you're grammatically very, very cautious, you don't want to make them grammatical errors, then yes, you need to know something. Thank you. I really enjoyed. Now, enjoyed is actually a reflexive verb. Now, here it would be perfect if you end the up this way. 
thank you I really enjoyed myself Now, I would definitely, definitely say, if you've been to school, if you consider yourself educated, you should make this sentence this way. Thank you. I really enjoyed myself. Okay. Next one. Did you lose your cell phone? Can you people find out what's the problem with this sentence? Did you lose your cell phone? Well, the sentence is in past tense, so there is no grammatical error in that sentence, but the problem is in here. Look, that's it. So there are two meanings. This L double O S E, this lose means not tight, lose wardrobe, lose top, right? This loses to lose something that you you get something missing right so this is going to be did you lose your cell phone right so the thing is this is not actually a grammatical error but our, our, our spelling mistake so that should be did you lose your cell phone last one this is an academic course now what's the problem again in here if you can find it out Again, grammatically, you don't find any problem in there. But the main problem is in pronunciation. That's, that's what the reason I've picked up in here. Look, this is an account. Now, most of the people, I wouldn't say the subcontinent, but across the whole world, most of the people pronounce this word, this word. This is an academic course. This is an academic course. Most of the people do pronounce it this way. But look, this is not academic. So when you say like academic, you actually put stress on care but instead you're meant to put stress on dare so that should be academic academic so instead of saying that this is an academic course perfect one should be this is an academic course so rather you put your stress on dare so this is where you put your stress I would write S for you I hope you would get them again I tell you guys this is for the learners of English who have already learned some English have started speaking English and you make sure you start working on them to get your English more perfect and then again these grammatical things I've been discussing with you every day guys and if you feel like you uh, you will discuss something with me and you've got some feedbacks on these ones still you don't understand something make sure you uh, leave a comment below and I'll surely try my level best to come back to you guys thank you very much stay tuned all the time bye